it's orange right now, it's just because Blender renders bitmaps weird. But you can see this is what it will look like in the game. And we can do a quick compile and just to show you what that looks like. So once you get this all done, this whole process takes less than five minutes to extract from Blender. So let's begin. <clears throat> so what you've got to do is get a model. Here I already have a model and a texture. And first thing you need to do is add a bone and you need an idle animation. So I'm just going to delete this bone here and start from scratch. So I'm going to collapse this window snap my cursor to center and add an armature single bone it's huge right now but we can scale it down to about the size of the can select the can and select the bone and parent the can to the bone control P bone and that's really all we need to do then we drag another window out and we open up the dope sheet. Go into pose mode with our bone selected. And we're going to add a new action. Just name it idle. And then just hit I. And then location rotation. So all this is doing is putting one keyframe animation in for this bone, which is anchored at the origin down here, and that's all we need to do. So for our source engine export, you pick your export path. I'm just going to make a new directory here, so my S drive, I'm going to call it uh, source export. And I'm going to dump it in here. So you want to make sure your export format is SMD and the target up axis is Z. And now you just export the scene. And what that will do is, and say two files exported, it's going to export the, the can with the bone and it's going to export this idle animation. So we can see our can is named can. That's very important. The uh, compile tools will reference that object name so um, if you create a cube or a cylinder and you start modeling that you don't rename it your export is going to be named cube or cylinder so it might be hard to find if you have a large list of files anyway I'm going to come into our source export folder and you can see we have the can and our animations which has the idle 001 animation we just made and all you do is you get this source to gold source MDC program here. You just drag your SMD export onto here and it's going to open up a command prompt window. Just hit enter, read it if you really want. It's just going to tell you it's opening the file. It converted the file. It's going to tell you where it exported to and that all files are converted successfully. So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it can. Can model. I'm going to put this can fixed SMD inside my can model folder and I'm going to rename it can. Now we also need to put the texture in here and we're going to have to generate a QC file in order to compile this into a model. So I'm going to find my previous model I made which is actually in models SMD export and Half-Life 1, Jellyfizz can. And this is my texture. So you can see this is it. We can actually see it's referencing can.bmp in our SMD, and that's very important too. So if your modeling isn't if your model isn't compiling, it says I cannot find the texture, make sure you open up your SMD, you can open it in Notepad and make sure this can.bmp, this is your material that's referencing each and an individual face and just goes down the whole list. 
So if that's wrong from Blender, you can do a Control H in Notepad and say whatever dot whatever, and you replace it with your uh, texture name. And they have to be an 8-bit bitmap. Okay, so a quick note on saving things as an 8-bit bitmap. Uh, it's very easy in Paint.net. Just go File, Save, or Save As, and you just select Bitmap and hit Save. And over here in this Bit Depth information, there's Auto Detect 24-bit and 8-bit. Um, just set it for 8-bit and hit OK, and that is it. So now we need a QC file. So I have another, I have a base QC file made up already. So this is my old QC file. I have it named can QC, but we have to change a couple of things. So you right click and you open it with notepad. If you just double click it, it's going to open up GUI Studio model. So we don't want to do that. You want to edit it with notepad first. So a couple things. You have this first, let's make this a little larger here. You have this first line. It says dollar sign model name. So whatever you want your model to be, we can call it. So I'm just going to make a different model. I'm just going to call it, I don't know, soda can 01 model. This sets your scale. So um, if your things are exporting or importing into Gold Source, a little different scale, and you don't want to re-export from Blender, you can fix this number to fix that. So this is a change directory, and we are in source export can model so we want to copy that and paste this in here and then CD texture this is where the texture is located and since the texture is in that same exact folder we can paste that in there as well this says what what body part we are so it's our can.smd file so this is what it's going to be in the model itself and this is the SMD it's referencing our sequence so we don't have any animations in here, but it's going to look in this base folder for this anims folder. And then inside that anims folder is going to be the name of the sequence we have from Blender. So if we go back into source export, we can see we have this anims folder. And we open this up and we have idle001.smd. So I'm just going to cut this and move it into my can model folder. You can see it's anims idle.001. So these need to match up. We can rename either one of these, but just to keep things simple, I'm just going to rename it in the QC file. file. Since this is an, an, an idle animation, it's not doing anything. So you change it to one frames per second, loop it, and it's the first action idle animation. So if everything looks OK, we can save this. Now we double click our can QC file here, and that'll automatically open up GUI Studio Model. Say so opening QC file, everything's okay. Hit compile, and our compiler execution has been completed. So now you can see our SodaCan 01 model has been spit out into our CAN model folder. So you can see in here SodaCan 01.model. Double click this, we can open up with the model viewer, and here's our model Jelly Fizz Soda. So if you want to put that into Counter-Strike, you need to copy that into your directory. So C-Strike, Models, I already have one called My Models, but I'm going to copy SodaCan01 to My Models. I'm going to restart Sledge just so it'll refresh the directory. So you can see these are cycler sprites. I've had some issues with regular cyclers for some reason. Um, the hitbox seems to be very, very large. So I always like to make them cycler sprites and just clip around them. So cycler sprite, my model slash jellyfish can, but we can browse, sea strike. Models, my models, soda can 01. Nothing's going to change because it's the same model, but I'm just showing you how it works. Get a clip brush out. 
change this down. Six by six, so we can stand on top of the can. And then we will run a fast compile. So you can see we have our new can. These two over here are the old Jelly Fizz can model, and this is the new one we just compiled. And we have the clip brush on there, so you see I'm walking up and down on top of that can.